Hi everyone, my name is Megan Kapp and I'm the chair of the Research and Education Subcommittee for the Canadian Coalition of Children of Incarcerated Parents. Formed in 2019, the Coalition, or CSIP, is a network of individuals, organizations, and academics who work together to advocate for child rights when a parent is incarcerated. We seek to ensure that the best interest of the child is a primary consideration in all decisions and at all stages of a criminal justice process in Canada. Today, November 20th, is National Child Rights Day. It's a day for us to celebrate the unique rights afforded to children. This day was chosen because on this day in 1989, the United Nations adopted the Convention on the Rights of the Child. This convention is the most widely ratified human rights treaty in history, with Canada signing in 1991. While it applies equally to all children, historically, children whose parents have been incarcerated have been left out of conversations surrounding child rights. When a parent is incarcerated and in the absence of supports, children are exposed to increased vulnerabilities and stigmas. They often experience isolation, grief, increased poverty, the need to move homes and schools, and other negative outcomes. Parental incarceration has now been added to the list of Adverse Childhood Experiences, or ACEs, which link childhood traumas to a variety of adult health concerns. With Indigenous people being overrepresented in the criminal justice system, Indigenous children and communities are disproportionately impacted, as are Black and other racialized people and communities. As specific statistics aren't currently collected in Canada, we don't have an exact number of how many children are impacted by parental incarceration. The most recent estimates tell us that this number may be around 400,000. Today, on Child Rights Day, we encourage you, in whatever scope of influence you may have, to consider these children. Specifically, we ask how the concept of the best interests of the child can be protected in our day-to-day -day lives and experiences. If you are a police officer, we encourage you to explore the implementation of a child-friendly arrest policy. If you are a correctional officer, we encourage you to have regular conversations about how the parental bond can best be protected and maintained during a period of incarceration. If you're a social worker, we encourage you to learn more about the unique barriers and vulnerabilities that these families face and to share with children that they are not responsible for their parents' actions. If you're a judge, we encourage you to consider parental obligations balanced with public safety considerations while sentencing. If you're a community member or a neighbor and you know a child who is impacted, involve them in your life and make an effort to get to know them. If you would like more details about how to implement these in practice and more information on the experiences of these children, please check out our website at www.childrenofincarceratedparents.ca. There you'll find many resources, including a community guide developed by the Elizabeth Fry Society of Greater Vancouver and its partners, and an overview document for practitioners focused on considering the best interest of the child in sentencing. Both of these documents offer tangible tips on how we can collectively support these children.